Hello and welcome. This is Thomas's Tarot Page, and we are looking at the week of February the seventh to the thirteenth, twenty twenty-two. Yeah, Playboy. And what we will do is we look at the overall energy for the week before we then go into the individual star signs, starting with the star sign we are in, which is Aquarius. <clears throat> so let's go. Um, let's dig right in. Um, let's have a look at the overall energy for the week of February the 7th to the 13th. Please like, subscribe and share because that allows us or allows me to grow the channel. Here we go. The overall energy for the week ahead. Okay. We have Coco Belly, the Demiurge and the Elk. In short, what Coco Belly is well, is it was a, a tribe, a tribe, and um, the demiurge is literally um, um, a sacred pipe. But what happened was, this is not a pipe that you smoke. If you smoke the, uh, the pipe that you actually play, <laughs> if that makes sense, uh, because the, smile, the, the the pipe that you smoke is called a, a, ca a camulet, um which is not this thing, right? So, cut long so short, because you would need to play the pipe when you relax and the elk here really is an animal that gets spooked easily when there is too much going on but also has antlers in this depiction which means you're fully protected therefore the message is for the week of February the 7th to the 13th for all star signs for all of us to pace ourselves right um, and really Hmm. I wouldn't necessarily say we have to settle down, but it feels like, you know, um, anything um, that is just too stressful, too much hustle, um, is just not supported by the overall energy for the week, because here we are asked to actually um, stay in our calmness and be as calm as we possibly can for whatever it is the, the week throws at the individual star signs. Okay, now, speaking of star signs... Uh, now we're starting with the sign we're in, which is the star sign of Aquarius. What you hear in the background is my cat just going to the lizard tray. Always bad timing. <laughs> Here we go. I hope it's not too loud. Anyway, Aquarians, here's what we have for you. We're looking at the week of February the 7th to the 13th, 2022. Here we go. Okay. For Aquarians, the... The pacing yourself and the doing things rather slowly continues because um, you have the squirrel, the gray squirrel, and the turtle. So, what the guides are saying to you, Aquarians, is this particular week, try to understand that overthinking isn't actually helping. Use your intuition if there are changes that need to be made, if you feel like, well, this could be life changing. Um, then trust your intuition, right? It is pointless to think about too many things at once because that was the, what the squirrel denotes, you know, he collects all these nuts and then <laughs> um, all these acorns and then loses half of them by the time he actually is where he wants to go. <clears throat> so therefore, overthinking really doesn't help you Aquarians this week. And then the outgoing energy that you have is the turtle. So all they're saying is just trust your intuition, don't rush anything, right? And don't think just because something doesn't quite work or isn't quite happening um, that that uh, means it will not happen in the future, if that makes sense, right? Um, so that's what they're saying uh, to you, Aquarians, right? Pace yourself right, don't stress, and, you know, um, things don't look very look bad at all for Aquarians. It just feels like that there needs to be, there need to be, you know, whatever that means. Obviously, this is a general reading, so I know it doesn't resonate to all of you, with all of you. But there is the idea here is to make changes. And I believe this, energetically speaking, this feels like changes in work. So I'm not getting too much about relationships here for you guys, uh, uh, Aquarians. But here's literally what the guides are saying is opportunities will come your way. Don't overthink. Feel if where you are is the right thing to do. And, and if you want to go somewhere else, if the timing is right. <clears throat> okay. That was Aquarius. Now we're going to the next star sign, which is Pisces. We're looking at the week of February the 7th to the 13th, 2022. Let's have a look what we got for Pisceans. Let's have a look. 
<laughs> what else is new? We have the we have the Canada goose and the bighorn sheep. <clears throat> now, the Canada goose is a sign for patience. I'm a Pisces. It's the one massive thing I have the most trouble learning. I'm just not a patient man. Anyway, what the guys are saying to, to us Pisceans at OTU Pisceans this week is quite interesting because we have the Canada goose and the bighorn sheep. <clears throat> and what they're saying is take your time, right? You will know and feel when things are ready to come into fruition. Really, really important not to chase anything. And also, um, what I'm getting is for whatever happens, and I do believe the way they make it, they make me feel. Um, so they're going into my heart chakra area, which means this is very likely. Well, it is. No, that's not likely about it. This is about relations and relationships. So what the guides are saying is, right, take your time with things. Um, don't rush. Um, if things need to change or indeed they, you want them to happen, you know, again, it's all about pacing yourself right. Good thing is, because this is about relationships, your outgoing energy or our outgoing energy is the big horn sheep. Ta-da! And, the, the, and what the bighorn sheep denotes is literally a sheep that says, well, I have to get up the mountain first, which is why we're being asked to be patient. But once I'm on the mountain, I bloody rule the place. <laughs> right? So all they're saying is just keep going. Don't despair. Pace yourself right. Understand that, you know, if you're not getting the answers you want, it's not the end of the world. Or maybe... Uh, whatever you're trying to do here <laughs> just needs a little more time um, and that's the way they give it to me uh, um, until the other person uh, this is about relationships um, feels a bit more comfortable with the idea of taking this to another level right or indeed if you are in between lovers weird, what a weird sentence <laughs> um, the way this looks here is not that you are being rejected. It feels more like, you know, the timing isn't quite right. You know, don't be pushy, right? Okay, that's all we got. It's quite interesting because here we are, we're talking about relationships and we're looking at the week of 7th to the 13th of February and on the 14th, we have the dreaded uh, um, Valentine's Day, <laughs> right? Which also means that around that time, because everything is so blown out of proportion and everybody, um, uh, buys flowers and chocolates and stuff. Um, the people who haven't got anyone at times feel like, wow, right? They all have someone. Reality is, when you look behind it all, you know, um, as nice as this is to have a dedicated day, like the 14th of February, right? Um, is your partner giving you flowers and chocolate anytime during the year, right? If he does, he's a keeper. If not, that one that one day a year means for God. Okay, just to say that, you know. Okie dokie, Pisceans, that's all I got. <laughs> Going to the next star sign, which is Aries. Like I said, this is Thomas Taro page. Please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my work, you can support me by buying me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Aries. Let's have a look what we got for this week or the week ahead, 7th to the 13th of February, 2022. You too have, um, see the overall energy uh, was all about, you know, pacing ourselves, right? And so it is normal and can be expected to find that reflected in the individual messages. And that's what happens here for Aries. <clears throat> Aries, by default, you are the first sign of the zodiac and you are the sign literally that is the sign of a doer so there's a part of you that sometimes doesn't have enough support because you you tend to just do everything for others right and um, so as an energy for aries this week you have the river otter and the river otter is basically saying for now don't make massive changes right because the river otter you know holds hands when they sort of fall asleep so they don't drift off so the symbolism here for therefore is uh, for you um, Aries to say like okay right now maybe I should hang on a little longer because um, and then your your outgoing energy is probably why you find it you may find it difficult to hang on to people or situations because the ringneck pheasant is literally 
a symbol for being very clever, very intelligent, but also very misunderstood. So, when, with regards to communications, this very week, February 7th to the 13th, 2022, for the star sign of Aries, you will notice that talking about stuff this very week might not really work so well, okay? That was Aries. Going to the next star sign, which is Taurus. Let's have a look at what we got for Taurians. Okay, Taurians, you have the crow and the mace mother. What they're saying to you is you are in a transformative state. You're in a transitional phase, so to speak. Um, and so therefore trust that wherever it is you're going um, will work. But again, seems to be the theme here for this entire reading so far. Um, don't try to hasten anything. Don't try to push for answers. Let things flow. Go with the flow. Your outgoing energy is the maze mother. Right? And the maze mother is saying, I got my field to look after. And I look after it in my own sweet time. I got this. So therefore, Taurians, you got this, okay? Right, going to the next star sign, which is Gemini. We're looking at the week of February the 7th to the 13th. You're watching Thomas's Tower page with myself, Thomas Janak. Please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you very much. Now, let's have a look at Gemini. Gemini, you got the grey wolf and the ferret. So, again, um, communication um, feels difficult this week because you have the grey wolf and the grey wolf is saying to you, you know, you are in control, in charge of your own pack. Might be a pack of one, but the point is what they're asking you to do this week is literally to, I don't like to work control because it's a weird word, but um, at least try to be, or promise yourself to be, in charge of your own affairs, right? That's all you can ask uh, this week. It's like, okay, at least I'm looking at it, <clears throat> but things cannot be rushed. And because if there's anything where you feel like, that really isn't right, that doesn't sit right with me, right? This is just not the week, unfortunately, where you can literally sit down with people and, and, and sort stuff out because the energy is more like, I don't understand the word you're saying. I don't want. Under, I don't want to understand a word you're saying. So, communication um, for Gemini really seems almost like it is impaired somehow, right? So, therefore, what the Grey Wolf is saying, right? Um, here, this is an awesome depiction, right? <laughs> all, all he's saying is, you know, go with the flow, and um, you know, answers will come. And, and maybe uh, next week, uh, the, the week after this one, is easier for you to actually, um, and that's the way they give it to me, get to the bottom of things, right? That was Gemini going into the star sign of Cancer. You know what is really weird? Every time the, the, the term Cancer comes up, literally every time, I'm, I'm listening, or I'm hearing, um, in my mind, I'm hearing a, a very, very old song from Kiss. She's a dancer, a romancer. I'm a Capricorn and she is a Cancer. And it's only ever this one line because there's a Cancer in there. How funny. Anyway, let's have a look at the energy um, for Cancer for the week of February the 7th to the 13th, 2022. There we go. All right, <clears throat> Cancerians, you have the lion and you have totem. Now, the lion is the guy that looks at the bride. Well, he's not doing all that much work for the bride. <laughs> that makes sense. It's mostly the, 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 the female lion that actually um, looks at, you know, hunting and kind of stuff. Um, for the most part, the, the, the lion's job, the male lion's job is to actually look at his territory. And because this depiction here is of a male lion, what they're saying to Cancerians this week, pay attention 
to your boundaries and because you have totem as the next uh, energy and totem means your family and or the people you actually live with. This is the week, February 7th to the 13th of 2022 for Cancerians to make sure that wherever and whoever you live with, especially whoever you live with and whoever you have close relations to when it comes to family members, make sure there is a boundary. Make sure you are being treated more than just fairly, if that makes sense, right? Um, so that's that's your real job for this week. They're not, they're not asking you to go into frustration because that's the energy here that I'm getting. There's a bit of frustration for uh, can cancer as an overall energy. So therefore, um, frustration leads to lower energy. So things are much harder to actually uh, um, shift, if that makes sense. So therefore, just be good to yourself and make sure that you put people in their place, if that makes sense, right? And since this was a depiction of a lion, we're now going into that star sign. Now we're looking at the star sign of Leo. Leos, let's have a look what we got for the week of February the 7th to the 13th, 2022. Okay, Leos, you have the Puma and all animal deities you could possibly wish for. They're all around you. What the Puma is saying, I am the Puma, I'm also called a mountain lion, right? So I have different names, people see me differently. And sometimes I am different and I act differently around different people. And what the guides are saying to you is, you don't have to do that because you're a bloody lion, <laughs> right? So Leo depicted by, by a lion, the um, old story was that his mane, his golden mane, was made out of um, material that couldn't be penetrated, so no hunter could harm him, if that makes sense. And so what they're saying to you is remember, remember your power, remember how strong you are, and you do not have to adapt massively to situations. It does not mean that you should be aggressive, <coughs> Because the uh, the lion is a really social cat, right? Um, not nearly as, aggr as aggressive as some of the other uh, big cats that are out there, right? It's just when the lion does damage, it does proper damage, <laughs> right? So what they're asking you to do, Leos, is to just understand maybe it is because I'm adapting the situation. Maybe it's because I'm trying to please and I'm trying to maybe makes things work, that things aren't really going anywhere. And this week they're saying to you is, right, which is not a very Puma thing, which is your, your animal guide here, right? Maybe look at a vantage point, look for a vantage point and say, look, okay, where, where am I in life? And then reflect, right? Where am I in life? Just look at stuff, reflect. Um, and from that view, you then also assess, you know, how people treat you in different situations and whether or not you really want for them to be that way. Okie dokie. Right, Leos, that was your week. Now, let's go into the next star sign, which is the star sign of Virgo. You're watching Thomas's Tarot page with myself, Thomas Yannard. Please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my work, you can support me now by buying me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Virgos. Let's have a look what we got for you for this week. Very, very um, <clears throat> deep messages and inner energy here for Virgo. You have the snake and the sacred tree. Now the snake, when you go to the pharmacy, you see a snake around the cane. It's actually um, a symbolism for healing, right? All that shit about, oh, you know, snakes are so horrible. It's all bloody religious uh, uh, symbolism. It's all a lot of, crack, of, of crap, to be fair, because all it ever did was give the snake a bad reputation. And the snake is like any other animal. It's just doing its thing, right? So don't even think, oh my God, I have the snake. It must be something bad. That is just conditioning, right? No such thing as a bad animal, right? No matter what the message, but your message is, because the snake is the animal of protection and healing. What they're saying is right now, right, just um, do, in other words, this week, do two things. Number one, again, pace yourself right, right? 
make sure you're not super stressed because it is only when the snake is cornered that she actually goes for you. You understand? Normally what you need to do is when there is a snake anywhere, right? Um, as long as they have a, a way out, they have no reason um, to attack you, right? Unless you're the natural prey. <laughs> All the guides are saying is make sure how you're feeling this week and how you're being treated this week is the way you want to be treated. And the reason why this comes up is because the snake is also the animal that says, and especially in this case, that's what the guides give me strongly, it is time this very week, while not much action is needed, to actually shed your skin and um, pay attention to what isn't really working and then really, you know, let that go, but let it go without being in your face about it, just remember and realize, you know, this isn't this isn't for me any anymore. And then when you move away from there, right, or sliding away from there, um, it is much less fric uh, fictitious or much less much less friction there, right? So that's the main thing. And then the next energy here for um, <clears throat> for Virgos is you have the sacred tree. What the guides are saying is you reflect on your life, right? Understand that you that that you also in need of healing and you are protected right now, right? You are the sacred tree. You are needed here. You really are needed here and you have value. Uh, but this week is, is, is time to actually look at who doesn't give you the sense of I'm valuable, I'm appreciated and make changes to these situations. Okie dokie, Virgos. Now let's go into the star sign of Libra. Libra. Librans, we're looking at the week of February the 7th to the 13th. You're watching Thomas's Tarot page with myself. Thomas Yonak. Let's have a look what we got. Okay, Librans, you have two bears. All bears are about feminine healing. Well, you know, if you are a gentleman, that just means, you know, you, you, you have to look at your softer side to trigger that healing. For instance, you know, in, in um, Native American symbolism, tears are sacred medicine. <clears throat> and then in the 80s, there was this song, um, Boys Don't Cry, you know, and a lot of blokes that I meet to this very day, um, even in, in circles where they willingly open up to healing, um, <clears throat> I, find, I find that a lot of gentlemen still have a problem allowing themselves to cry in public and to actually um, acknowledge how they truly feel, right? <clears throat> Be this as it may. You have two bears. So this week, Librans, what they're saying is, remember, you are depicted by the scale, right? And you're also, your governing planet is Venus. So all you ever want is love and harmony because of all the planets in our solar system, especially the ones that are associated with our birth chart. Um, the only planet that moves differently is Venus. And what that means is that most, well, all the other planets really <clears throat> move anti-clockwise. Now, when you look at anti-clockwise, spiritually speaking, when you do anti-clockwise movements, you take away, you take out what is no longer needed. When you move clockwise, what you're actually doing is you're trying to put harmony in. So, and as you know, harmony is super, super important um, for Libra and Venus, the sign of love, wants nothing else, right? Does that make sense? So since you are governed or the energy that you get from the stars is the energy of Venus, um, you, there is a part of you that probably stays in, situation, in situations and with people way longer than you should and you sometimes even paint a nicer picture just to not upset anything <clears throat> and it doesn't serve you. Ultimately, the incoming bear here is the polar bear. And of all the bears, he is the most vulnerable. So what they're saying to you this week, Alipens, is to acknowledge your vulnerability, right? And since you have a bear, right, who is an animal nobody messes with, with right, um, make sure that the people who hmm, stop you from showing your vulnerability are the first ones that need to be told that now is your time, right? So this is important this week for you to take time because the outgoing energy is the black bear. So again, okay, the, the brown bear would be really about um, deep trauma 
of the feminine thought. And that would that would basically mean, uh, you know, um, if you are a, a, a woman, whatever has happened to you, uh, both physically and emotionally, that would be the thing. But the, but the black bear is not like that. The black bear is saying, right, I, I just need some space, right? I need to be, well, allowed is the wrong word because you make that happen, right? But again, it's the way they, they say it. Right? I just need to understand I'm a bit vulnerable. I probably need to cry this out. I need to refocus um, my life. <clears throat> I just need some space. And if you're not giving me space, I just get up, right, and tell you off. That's really your job. Um, and I understand that this is difficult simply because you are a Libran, right? And um, you are governed by, by Venus, which finds it very difficult to confront people. Okie dokie, going to the next star sign, which is Scorpio. Here we go. Scorpios, let's have a look what we got for the week of February the 7th to the 13th, 2022. You have the moose and the grizzly bear. <laughs> So, another bear. Anyway, you have the moose and the grizzly bear. And what the moose is saying to you is just don't be pushy, right? Allow yourself to um, enjoy and observe where you are, right? And make sure that where you are is harmonious enough for you, if that makes sense, and just go about your business. Because the grizzly bear is saying to you, right, um, while I am a soft animal, which means I'm not, I'm not overly aggressive, we just go about our business, if that makes sense. So there's no real aggression here. Um, um, but the grizzly bear is saying, at no times, apart from, the apart from when humans are involved, but at no time, um, do I really worry about my existence, if that makes sense, right? So um, what they're saying to you is, you know, you, you will be sustained at all times, right? But you need to learn to actually step back from things and, and, and not do much. And again, because you have a bear here, you know, which again, um, you know, the, the message is, you know, you're not, you're not going to mess with a bear. So all they're saying is, you know, you have the strength to say to people, you know, you are one of the reasons why I'm not healing and I'm not having it, okay? So, that was Libra, was it? No, Scorpio, sorry. <laughs> that was Scorpio. Okie dokie, Scorpio. Now we're going to the next star sign, which is Sagittarius. And then we have only Sagittarius and Capricorn left. Um, yeah, Sagittarius. Here we go. Sagittarians, you have the panther and the doll's sheep. Now, the panther is saying to you, this week you will notice that when you step back a little, you will notice that um, you're doing too much for others, right? You're just there all the time. And in order for you to be heard, you have to be the archer and, you know, shoot that arrow with, um, with gusto, with oomph, right? So that people... Um, pay attention to you. Now remember, the original depiction of um, your star sign was not the archer. You are actually, the original depiction of Sagittarius is actually the centaur, which is half human, half horse. And when the ancient Greek called it a half-breed, you know, all these thousands of years ago, as far as they are concerned or were concerned, it was simply a statement. It is, there is no judgment in that word. There's just judgment in any fucking thing this time, you know, kind of stuff. So what they're saying to you is nobody really um, can lower your frequency unless you allow it, right? But because the centaur is sort of a being that is sort of seven foot tall, <laughs> right? Um, and, and also you have the panther here. Um, what they're saying to you is you're really not at risk to not be heard. And if you are really in, a, in a situation where you feel like, wow, I'm hiding because the panther is literally um, a leopard um, that is hiding inside a being um, that stands out quite a bit in nature. So you trying to hide away from stuff and not deal with stuff ultimately won't serve you, right? Ultimately what they're saying to you is stop hiding, right? Be yourself, stop hiding, remember your strengths because you have the doll sheep and the doll sheep is saying I can hang on a cliff on two legs and don't fall. 
So if you actually say, I'm no longer hiding, I speak my truth, and I make the changes that are necessary for me to be in a better place, right? The door chief is saying, yeah, and you will get there. That's the whole point, right? Sagittarians, that was that going to the final star sign for the day, which is Capricorn. Now Capricorns, we're looking at the um, week of February the 7th to the 13th, 2022. You are watching Thomas's Tarot page with myself, Thomas Janak. Please like, subscribe and share. Um, would be much, much appreciated. Here we go. Let's have a look at the final star sign for this week ahead, which is Capricorn. Oh, more cards fall out. <laughs> okay. <coughs> Capricorns, you have the grey fox, you have the chipmunk, and you have the red-headed woodpecker. What the guides are saying to you is, you are an old soul. Just relax. Right? You have been in worse situations and you got through them. Always remember your strengths rather than think like, oh my God, this is all really bad, this is all really difficult, uh, um, because you're not doing yourself a favor. Even if you're just paying attention and you actually say how you feel, right? It, doesn't, it still doesn't help your energy to rise. So what they're saying to you is, before anything enters your mind, just remember, no matter what, what situations you have been in, you always came out the other end and stronger. It won't be different this time because you have the outgoing energy is, is the, the red-headed woodpecker and we get there. But your middle animal here, uh, animal guide, is a chipmunk. And the chipmunk is saying, well, you, are, you already see the world exactly for what it is. Maybe you just need to stop um, going along with stuff that really isn't for you, right? I mean, while this is easier said than done, that's what's going on here. What they're saying is, well, if you, if you stopped you know, pleasing all the time. If you stopped thinking, oh, I'll give it a bit longer, maybe that will be better next week, or maybe it's my fault, all this kind of stuff, right? which can also be conditioning. Um, all the guys are saying is you really pay attention to whether or not you would advise your best friend to be in that position. If your answer is no, then you got your answer for your life, right? All the, the guys are saying is be honest. Be honest with yourself, right? And, and you know, and look at things for the way they really are. Because the outgoing energy is the red-headed woodpecker. And the woodpecker, um, the same like the hummingbird and the kingfisher of all the animal guides that are here. And um, these three, kingfisher, hummingbird, and indeed the woodpecker, um, are the birds that say, no matter how crooked the tree is, and the tree represents your life, I can work it. So what they're saying to you is, right, maybe you just worry too much. You know, you get shit done it will get done okay dokie you just need to allow yourself to realize um, that maybe you know it is time also for you to reach out to to people to like-minded people and also it's very important um <clears throat> as a capricorn <clears throat> to understand that you need to find your tribe right um because the capricorn is associated with so many different things <clears throat> so you have the capricorn which is the which is denoted uh, or it's the symbol is a goat, right? And people think it's a mountain goat. Um, therefore, it carries that energy. It's actually not. It's actually a sea goat, right? Because the symbol of, of Capricorn is a the head of a, of a goat and the tail of a fish, right? So it's not even not even the depiction is accurate. And when you look at, at Vedic um, astrology, they say like, no, Capricorn is Makara, the, the, the alligator, yeah, right? So there is confusion in the energy of your sign as to who you truly are, right? And the point is, when you feel a bit confused and you don't quite know where you're standing and who you actually are, a lot of people will take advantage of this. And all the guides are saying is, you are better than that because your incoming energy was the gray fox. You are an old soul, you deserve only the best, but you must claim it. Okie dokie guys, that's all we got. Uh, thank you for watching. Um, we will be back next week, and I understand, because we've been through this, um, with a, there's a good chance that in in March we will return to the longer individual readings, right? Uh, for February, please um, um, understand that, uh, because there, there was a technical issue, um, I, I started started recording very, very late, um, and I had to sort out my computer and my, and my editing software. Um, the only feasible thing for me to do 
was to actually do weekly readings. I still hope you like them. As usual, they are timestamped, so you can just go watch the old energy and go to your star sign, right? So yeah, and remember, this is a free service, right? So um, be grateful that you have a free video. Okie dokie, see you all next week. Bye-bye.